So I just have to share this with you. I purchased a CD from Amazon, Autographs album, Sign In Please. You may remember this song. In any case, when the CD arrived, I discovered that it had perhaps the cheapest packaging ever. Here it is. First sign that something's wrong is this very bizarre blue uh, clip art sort of border on it. But it gets much worse. Let's take a look at the back. Ooh, that's quality, isn't it? Whoops, there's a reflection. Hello. Let's take a look at that. Mmm, compact disc, RCA, barcode. And there's that generic background again. And a, hmm, it's a little thumbnail of the uh, front cover image. And the track listing in a generic font. Let's open it up, shall we? Ooh. See, another problem here. And this so you can see it. Here is the actual CD. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I think I could make a CD like that uh, with my CD burner and some labels from Staples or something. And it feels very cheap and it's very... it's got that sort of semi-sticky smooth plastic feel to it. And Another big sign of quality is that it matches the the backing there. Well, that looks familiar, doesn't it? It's the exact same as the back. Let's save on art. Oh, it's very sticky, too. So, even wetter, you go ahead and pull this out here. Or attempt to. There's the CD booklet. I use the term loosely. You'll notice that even when held down, the uh, border here doesn't seem to line up. That's because it's one piece that's been folded in the middle. And the two sides don't actually line up. And it's actually lying flatter now because I've folded and flattened it back down. And when I first got it out, it wasn't nearly that flat. Here's the exciting part. That's the entire insert. Not just reissued, reimagined. Ooh. I'm not going to read that all because it's all a bunch of hokum. There we go. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance.